The book tour for former Deputy White House Chief of Staff Carl Rove starts off with a bang here in the Southland. Rove was in Beverly Hills tonight where he was greeted by a passionate group of supporters and critics. KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryan has the details now live from Beverly Hills. Dave? Well, Lena Sylvia Rove appeared at the Saban Theater on, on Wilshire in Beverly Hills, as you said, and a crowd of about 100 people came to get their books signed and to listen to him speak. Uh, Rove has just released a new book recently, Courage and Consequences. And if you think that the passion and anger and strong feelings on both sides about the Iraq war have subsided now that we've gotten on to health care reform and the economy, well, there is no sign anything subsided tonight. No, 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 I didn't say go ahead. I would say you get away. Former White House senior advisor and deputy chief of staff Carl Rove was shouted down and forced to leave by a small group of anti-war protesters at a book signing event in Beverly Hills. The co-founder of the anti-war group Code Pink tried to make a citizen's arrest of Rove and advanced toward him with a pair of handcuffs. Look what you did. You, you outed a CIA officer. You lied to take us to war. You ruined the country. Totally ruined the country. As Code Pink co-founder Jody Evans was pushed away, another protester confronted Rove, charging he's a war criminal. Here's the only deal. comfort I take is that you're going to rot in hell. Oh, With no visible security around, Rove was left to fend I'm for himself for and mom. engaged the protesters in some heated exchanges. With all due respect, this goes to show the totalitarianism of the left. They don't believe in, they don't believe in dialogue. They don't believe in courtesy. They don't believe in First Amendment rights for anybody but themselves. The signs of conflict came early in the program when another anti-war member of the audience accused Rove of participating in a campaign to purposely lie to and mislead the American people about Saddam Hussein and weapons of mass destruction, a campaign the audience member charged that led America into the Iraq War. You know what? If you want to keep interrupting me, you can get the heck out of here. Yeah. You can get the heck out of here. All right, here, 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 here. Look, look, look. Have respect. Have respect for these people. No, sir, 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 sir. The Downey Street memos are a complete fabrication. This man is a lunatic. You can leave, sir. When tempers briefly cooled, Rove told the crowd of about 100 people the charge that the administration lied was absolute nonsense and politically motivated. It's a pernicious political attack launched by cynical and hypocritical individuals. After the event ended in chaos and audience members were left to wander away with their books unsigned, several members of the audience said they were distraught about how it broke up. I wanted to hear him speak. I didn't want to hear him interrupted. If somebody had a question, that's fine. But to start yelling and screaming about war criminals or some other nuts, uh, nutty idea is uh, not acceptable. They came specifically to disrupt the event, and that's not right. Well, and as we said, Rove uh, decided to hit the exits before he had an opportunity to sign any of the books. Most of the crowd was interested in hearing him and did want him to be here and was supportive. But as you saw, it uh, became pretty chaotic at one point. Now, he is in the middle of this national book tour, and tonight Carl Rove heads to Fresno, where he's hoping to get a friendlier reception tomorrow. We're live in Beverly Hills, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.